All right. <laughs> the focus uh, of this talk is not on the plight of those who are unemployed, but why people are unemployed in a situation of the, what is still the wealthiest country in the world, and why one aspect of America, the 1%, are getting incredibly wealthy. So the great lie that you're hearing is that it's the bank CEOs, the ultra-wealthy Americans, who are the productive class. They are the opposite. When they operate as they're supposed to operate under their model, they're parasites. But they rarely operate that well. Normally they operate to destroy wealth and destroy jobs, and they are the massive destroyers of both. The idea that we owe them thanks is an obscenity. The idea that we owe our jobs to them is an obscenity. That the wealth of the nation comes from their efforts is a lie. That we must not drive them overseas. But they are fine in driving all of the businesses in America overseas. It's only a crisis if it's their jobs. We must ta not tax them, we must not criticize them, and we assure that we must never regulate them. And this enormous lie of the productive class has spawned a whole series of other lies that beset our nation that we simply have to accept that tens of millions of Americans should be unemployed. That we should simply accept that it's acceptable that 20 to 25 percent of all children in America are in poverty. That we cannot afford to educate our children anymore. We cannot afford health care for everyone. We cannot afford to pay for Social Security. Our kids have to come out of college with massive debts that leave them behind the eight ball for 20 years. And that only our top graduates can get good jobs. And they're the only ones who deserve to get good jobs. All of these are lies. But these are the lies that at least we sort of know are being told. We have many more hidden lies that are so embarrassing we try never to admit them in society. And that is that it's really okay that the median white family has wealth 20 times that of the median black family. Let me say that again. 20 times larger median wealth, and 18 times larger than the median wealth of a Latino family. And that it's okay for the unemployment rate for blacks to be twice that of whites. Indeed, that's not only acceptable, that's kind of appropriate, goes the line. So what we need to do is what the Society of Friends, the Quakers, uniquely in their theology say, and that is we have an ethical duty to speak truth to power instead of pandering to power. And uh, the economics profession overwhelmingly serves the 1% and panders to that power. Here's, in fact, what a very conservative French economist said a long time ago. When plunder becomes a way of life for a group of men living together in society, they create for themselves in the course of time a legal system that authorizes it and a moral code that glorifies it. And that is precisely what we have. We now have looting from the C-suite, the CEO, the CFO level, with impunity. And we have a system of so-called ethics or philosophy that delights in the impunity of the elites to defraud us. 